Hello, I am Christopher Richland, Professor of Medicine at the University of Rochester Medical Center in Rochester, New York. In this video, I will present key 52-week efficacy and safety data from the B-Optimal, a phase three randomized placebo-controlled active reference study of bimekizumab in biologic DMAR naive patients with active psoriatic arthritis, or PSA. PSA is a chronic inflammatory disease with symptoms spanning several domains, including joints and skin. The IL-17 cytokine has been implicated in the pathogenesis of inflammatory diseases, including PSA. BKZ is a monoclonal IgG1 antibody that selectively inhibits IL-17F in addition to IL-17A. BKZ has demonstrated clinically meaningful efficacy compared with placebo to week 16 in the phase three study B optimal. Here, we present the long-term efficacy and safety of BKZ in BioDMARD naive patients with PSA up to week 52 in B optimal. In the study design, 852 patients were randomized two to three to one to placebo subcutaneous BKZ 160 milligrams every four weeks or the reference arm adalimumab 40 milligrams every two weeks. At week 16, placebo patients were switched to receive BKZ in the active treatment blind period. Here we see patient demographics and baseline characteristics, which were well balanced between treatment groups and typical for a population of patients with moderate to severe PSA. Here is depicted ACR responders over time to week 52. Achievement of ACR 20, 50, and 70 was sustained or increased from week 16 to 52 in patients receiving BKZ. Over half of BKZ treated patients achieved ACR 50 at week 52. Here we see PASI responders over time to week 52. Improvements in skin, including complete skin clearance, were sustained from week 16 to 52 in patients with baseline psoriasis receiving BKZ. Over 60% of BKC-treated patients achieved complete skin clearance at week 52. Composite endpoints over time to week 52 are demonstrated here. The achievement of the composite endpoints MDA, VLDA, and ACR50 plus PASI100 were sustained from week 16 to 52 in patients receiving BKZ. Over half of BKC-treated patients achieved MDA at week 52. Focusing now on safety, the overall safety results were shown here for both the double-blind period to week 16 and the overall study to week 52. To week 52, at least one treatment emergent adverse event was reported by 79.1% of patients whilst receiving BKZ and 80.7% of patients in the adalimumab reference arm. There was one death due to a motorcycle accident unrelated to BKZ treatment. As expected, with a known safety profile of BKZ, an increased incidence of fungal infections was observed in BKZ-treated patients. All fungal infections were mucocutaneous and localized. To week 52, 7.7% of patients had a candidate infection whilst receiving BKZ, the majority of which were oral candidiasis. None were serious, severe, or systemic, and most resolved with antifungal treatment. One case of oral candidiasis led to study discontinuation. In conclusion, B-Optimal demonstrated the long-term efficacy of bimekizumab across a range of key PSA domains in bio dmar naive patients with active PSA. Improvements observed at week 16 were sustained at week 52 in patients initially randomized to bimekizumab. Patients that switched from placebo to bimekizumab at week 16 achieved similar response rates and joint and skin outcomes to those initially randomized to bimekizumab by week 52. Bimekizumab was well tolerated with a safety profile that was consistent with prior studies in PSA. Further outcomes, including radiographic outcomes and patient reported outcomes, are reported in the manuscript. Thank you for your attention.